hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video uh, i'm going to show you how you can use wordpress hooks uh, in the in the previous video i showed you how you can uh, use wordpress actions and in this uh, video i'm going to show you how you can use wordpress filters so this is the reference page for the wordpress filters uh, i will provide this link into the description section now let's start learning wordpress filters so i'm going to open my local site and i will go to the post single page now i will go to my child theme and if you are watching this video directly and don't know how to create child theme the link is coming into the suggestion section at the very at the very top right so you can watch the video from there how you can create your child theme so for now in my child theme i have override this uh, singular.php file from the parent theme so that i can make changes in this file so this is the responsible file for displaying this single post page now i'm going to show you how you can use filters very easily i am sure after watching this your concept for the filter will be clear so watch carefully so in this file i am going to print a name so it will print name on this single post page as you can see now i am going to use filter on this name so what filter does in wordpress so it change the whole value or it updates the value like you can change the entire value of the particular thing or you can update that particular value let me show you how you can do that so now i am going to assign this name into particular variable let's say name now final name and now i am going to add apply filters so apply filter takes two arguments one is the tag that you can add whatever you want i am going to add it as a change name this tag you can add whatever you want and now in the value i am going to pass this name so by using this filter i am going to change this name first let me print this final name and see what happens so it is still displaying the original name from here because we haven't apply any filters now let's try to change this name so for this i am going to open my plugin custom custom plugin and this is my custom plugin i have already showed you how you can create your own custom plugin and if you want to see that video uh, link is coming in the top right corner in the suggestion now 
here we have applied filter which is apply filters here you have to add filter so make sure when you are going to apply filter it should be this function apply filters don't forget to add s and when you it comes to add filter then only add filter not filters now i will so add filters accept number of arguments first argument will be this a tag name second argument will be the callback function like which function will call when this filter is applied third argument will be priority and fourth argument will be number of parameters pass from this uh, filter so in our case there is only one parameter which is the value of this name so when there is only one parameter we don't need to specify the number of argument now let's try to change the name always remember when there is a filter there will at least minimum one uh, parameter which is the original value and I'm going to call this as a name and always return that parameter don't make this as a blank otherwise you are going to mess up something so always remember whatever the first parameter is return that parameter or at least return your output don't make it an empty value over here now I am going to change the name so name equal to test user what we did so from here it takes first parameter as a as this functions first parameter and in this name we have passed this name bunty you can give this parameter as any different name as well but for consistency I am giving it as a name only and this name I have changed it to test user remember value over here will be the original value from here after changing our value we are returning the changed value so that it will display this new value instead of our original value so now I am saving this file I will go to this single page and I will refresh this page and as you can see it changed the original value so this is how you can change the value now I am going to show you how you can update the value so now I am going to remove this test user name I will use the original name and with that name I am going to add mister so now it will add mister prefix in my name and name is coming from here 
so let's try to refresh this and as you can see now it is adding mr before my name so this is how you can update the value and this is the basic concept of the filters this is how you can use your filters and now in the wordpress there are number of filters which you can use by your development work so in this case i am going to show you a one uh, filter how you can use that filter so i'm going to show you the title filter so the title filter is for a post title anywhere on the site so let's see how many arguments this filter take so this will filter has two arguments first is title and another one is id so let's try to use this filter add filter the title change post title this is the callback function we will set priority as a 10 and as this parameter accepts two arguments so we will add two over here now write the function first parameter is title another parameter is the post id don't forget to return this value so always remember whenever you are add a filter filter should return a value always now for this title I am going to add suffix so now this filter will add a suffix for the title and it will apply for all the post titles so let's try to refresh this page it should add something over here so as you can see it has added this extra text because we have added a new extra text after this title and this will applicable for all the titles so now if we go to the category page let's go to backend first into the post section everywhere it will add that filtered text let me add a new post now we will view post and as you can see it is also appending on the new post title so this is how you can use filters
and there are lots of filters you will have to work on those kind those filters while developing your wordpress plugins or themes let me know if you have any doubt or question write down your doubt or questions below in the comment section and this is the video guys i hope this video is helpful to understand how filters works thanks for watching the video